All right, so let's take a look at using a video as a custom texture map in Element 3D inside After Effects. Okay, so um, I've already imported in the video that I'm going to use as my texture map. Okay, so now I'm going to come up here to Composition and select New Composition. All right, um, I already know this is the size that I want to use. Yours will just vary on the project and the video that you're using. And I'll go ahead and just select OK. All right, so next I want to come up here and select T for text. Um, click on my composition here, and I'll just type in RB. Okay, there we go. And the next thing that I'm going to do is come up here to Layer, New, and select Solid. All right, and we'll just call this Solid Element. Okay, it doesn't matter what color, because we are going to now, with it, with it selected in the timeline, come up here to Effect, Video Copilot, Element. Okay. So over here in the effects controls, we can see our element controls. Um, I can actually shut off the text layer now. All right, and now with the solid layer selected, I'm going to come over here to custom layers, custom text and masks, and I'll select that RB. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is grab my video here and drag that into the timeline. All right, I can also shut that off, just like for the text. All right. Now I'm going to close the custom text and masks layer, open up the custom texture maps layer, and load up that um, video, okay? The Fire 2 MP4, okay? All right, now with the solid selected still, I'm, I'm going to come over here to the uh, effect controls and select scene setup. Okay, so now we're inside element. I'm going to select extrude up here at the top, and there's our text, as you can see it's 3D. Okay, so here's our extrusion here, okay? And I'm going to open that up, and then here is our texture, okay? Now, with the texture selected here, right now it just says bevel one, I'm going to select this picture icon, that is the textures, okay? Now, that'll get us to the textures area. This top one here, diffuse, right here where it says none set, I'm gonna click on that. Okay, now next to the load textures here is this little triangle right here, I'm gonna select that, and then select custom layer one. There's that uh, fire MP4 that we loaded into the custom layers here over here in the effects controls, okay? All right, I'm going to hit okay. Let's see here. Next, I'm going to come over here to create and we'll create a sphere too. All right, and I'll move that over to about right here. Okay, we'll use this as the O for orb. And it's bigger than I want it to be, so I'm going to select the scaling icon right here and then go into the middle of it right here so we get that full yellow square. And I'm going to just click and drag and shrink that down a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Okay, select the move tool again and just kind of scoot that over along the X axis just a bit. Okay, and we're gonna do that same thing again. So I'm going to open up the sphere model, select the texture, select the uh, texture icon here. Uh, top one here, diffuse, I'll select none set and select that video one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and select okay. Okay, and there we go, let's create a camera. So layer, new, whoops, camera. Okay, two node camera, I'm just gonna leave everything as it is, hit okay. Now, if we select, if we hit C on our keyboard, we can actually uh, toggle through uh, the different camera controls, all right? So with the uh, camera selected, with the playhead on zero, I'll go ahead and open up the camera transform options and just drop keyframes. I'll drop it just all the way down. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. We're gonna move this thing around a little bit. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to select C until I get to my camera orbit tool. And we'll just kinda rotate it a little bit this way. Okay, like so. And maybe I'll select C again and zoom out a little bit, like so. All right. And then we'll move our playhead up, oh, five seconds or so. And let's see, I'll, I'll go ahead and zoom zoom in, like so. And select C a couple more times, get to our orbit tool, and just kind of rotate this the other way, like so. Okay, go ahead and move the playhead back. And we'll go ahead and shrink the composition duration up here to five seconds or so and come over here to the preview panel and press play. And there we go, using video as a custom texture map in Element 3D inside of After Effects.